Oh my gosh. You were crying your eyes out on last night? No, I wasn't. I was just out late and in the wind. Oh, don't worry. I could always use this. Hey mom, what is this? Hi everyone. Welcome to Minglish. Let's get beauty. Well, it's been a while since we update our beauty or health knowledge. So subscribe, stay tuned, and all this present to you by Me Media. Hi everyone! Are you sometimes worried about eye discomfort? Is it allergies, overusing, or even COVID-19? How about blood clots? Is that related to eye strokes? Well, these are very difficult questions, and this is why we'll be speaking to Dr. Wang today. He's here to answer many other more questions. Let's welcome Dr. Wang. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Wang, an eye doctor. I'm very happy to be here. So, Dr. Wang, is blood clot in the eyes related to eye strokes? What are the warning symptoms that I should really head to a doctor? A fresh blood clot over the eye bone is usually due to the rupture of tiny blood vessels over the ocular surface. It usually is not related to eye stroke. But if there is severe eye pain, postures secretion, or blurred vision, distorted vision, and visual field defect, I recommend you to see a doctor soon. So, if I wake up with a bloodshot eye, it's not really something serious, but I should be concerned about that. And I guess that's still not enough, right? So, let's listen to our conversation. Today's conversation. Hey, Jenny, what's wrong with you? Me? Nothing, I'm just so happy. You know, I'm going to go shopping with YC later, and after that, we're going to watch a movie. But I'm just a little worried about my eyes. Look, it's a bit red and it's a bit swollen. Oh my gosh, you were crying your eyes out last night? No, I wasn't. I was just out late and in the wind. Maybe the wind is making my eyes uncomfortable. Oh, don't worry. I could always use this. Hey mom, what is this? This? It's eye drops. It's used for relieving the redness and the swelling in my eyes. Actually, you should not rely on it. Pay more attention to your health condition, especially your eyes. You need to see a doctor, I mean it. What are the other symptoms besides the redness? Well, it's a bit hurting and my vision is a bit blurry now. But other than that, I'm fine. I still can't wait to go to the movie. Wait a minute, you should not take the blurry vision so lightly. Really? It's mm -hmm. that serious? Yes, as you know. Prevision is one of the symptoms of eye stroke. If it happens more and more frequently, definitely you need a checkup. Wow, that sounds really serious. Okay, I should go to a doctor. I just text YC. She's going to help me monitor your condition to see a doctor, okay? Okay, thank you, Brian. How lucky I am to have a friend like Brian. Take good care of your eyes and monitor the condition. Today's topic. Well, after the conversation, it just feels not enough. I still have so many questions for Dr. Wang. Can you briefly explain the structure of the eyes to us? I will simply introduce the basic structure of eyeball. We can see the transparent part of the eyeball is uh, we call it cornea, and behind the cornea is the iris. Iris has many different colors in different races. And behind the iris is a lens. This lens is also transparent. The light uh, trains through the cornea and the lens and uh, focus on the innermost part of the eyeball. We call it the retina. And the retina uh, transmits the image signal from optic nerve to our brain and we can see the images. So how about eye drops? I mean, it's really convenient just to go to the pharmacy and we can buy it over the counter. So how can we use it properly? And how often should we use it? Yes, once or twice every day is reasonable because 
Readily relieving eye drops can constrict the blood vessel of the ocular surface. It can get rid of the redness quickly, but we know redness is a sign of something wrong in our eyes. If you overlook the underlying condition, the disease may progress insidiously. When you stop using it, the redness will rebound and lead to a virtuous cycle. So, how about blood clots? Because it seems like blood clots are related to eye stroke, and eye stroke seems to be related to blindness, and this is terrible. Yes, but uh, the fresh blood clot of the ocular surface is usually due to the rupture of tiny blood vessels over the eye surface. It is not related to eye stroke. So, finally, how can we keep healthy, good, strong eyes? I recommend many methods. The first one is to avoid sedentary lifestyle, such as uh, spending too much time on mobile devices or computers. The second one is exercise regularly. Regular exercise can improve our circulation and help our, uh, improve our eyeball condition. The third is avoid intake too much oily or salty food. This will increase the metabolic burden. And the last one is good quality and the quantity of sleep. Keep good mood. Those can help us to prevent the eye stroke. It seems like a healthy daily routine is the key for healthy eyes. And just as it goes for taking care of our body, for other parts of our body's health, we should do the same thing too. Do you got it? It's not that difficult, but we need to keep these good habits every day. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Today's keywords. Eye drops. Eye drops. Early vision, early vision. Puffy, puffy. Each eyes, each eyes. Allergy, allergy. Today's idiom. Cry one's eyes out. Cry one's eyes out. It means crying a lot. For example, I was so upset that day, I cried my eyes out. It's wonderful having Dr. Wang here today. So do you know how to take better care of your eyes? Or if you wake up with bloodshot eyes, don't panic. Well, if you like this video, subscribe, watch again. See you next time. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you, Dr. Wang. Hey. No, 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 doctor. <laughs> if you like our video, please subscribe the channel.